previously on Dune Imperium War Chest. Let me play the beast. I may have cost myself the game third place. Yeah, I definitely blew it. I can sell Melange and still pick up this Chome Directorship. First place finish in game number two. Count Ilban Richet's comes through. I'm gonna try Memnon. The spice is flowing, baby. You can see flashes of the future where it says victory. Hey, it's just like in my vision. Memnon worked out for me last time. I might as well get some more spice for a potential tiebreaker, I guess. Ooh, that spice tiebreaker ended up being the key. That's three first places in a row. I'm sticking with my boy Memnon. I have nothing I can do here. Leto is just like destroying this game. How many spice must flows has he gotten so far? Baron jumps ahead. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be a struggle for me not to come last in this game. I wanna go to Hayliner, and then if I can get away with it, I wanna stage an incident, still win and get the point. Well, that's kind of nice. Let me just do that. Thank you, Thufir. The staged incident is looking pretty good. Ooh, it tastes good. I really didn't think I was gonna win that game. Memnon, what a beaut. All right, here it is. It's time for game six, the final game of the War Chest event. Taking a look at the standings as of right now, I'm currently sitting in third with five games played. Um, I have an opportunity to, to take first place if I can win my next match. If I can take first place in my next match, I will then jump into first place in the event overall. Um, that doesn't mean I will keep it even if I manage that because there are some people who could still theoretically come out on top. Like for example, if I scroll down here, Marvin's quest here is sitting on 30 points with three games played. So that's a perfect record so far. If if they can keep that up, um, <clears throat> then they would obviously get a perfect score, 60 points. But um, anyway, it's time. We're just gonna go in and see what happens. Once again, the war chest rules at the end of every round, whoever has the most Solari gets a bonus troop in their garrison for the following round. And if players are tied for the most, they will both get it. Let's jump into it. And we're in. Let's see what leaders are available by the time my pick comes around. All right. I'm going to be the first one to play, so I'm going to be the last one to pick. Now, my boy Memnon has been doing super well for me, and so... If that's still around when my pick comes around, then I'm going to do it. Um, just because, you know, why mess with a good thing? But we'll see. We'll see what's left. So I'm going to have a choice between three leaders, right? Okay, Baron Harkonnen has been picked up. This is exciting. This is exciting. I can't believe how well I've done so far. Four wins in a row. I think that's my best win streak. Just regardless of format. Maybe not. I'm not sure. But um, it's been some good games for sure. Some tight games. Okay. Helena picked up second. All right. I mean, what am I going to do? Ilbon, I did also win a game with Ilbon, and Ilbon is fantastic, but uh, we're sticking with what works here to try and close out strong. I hope I get the Signet Ring, Dune the Desert Planet, uh, in my opening hand, because if I get both of those, then that lets me take the shortcut up to Swordmaster, which is something I discovered in uh, a previous game in this series. I'm sure it's not a secret, but it's something I didn't really know about. Uh, all right. Spice. Okay, and I do get the combo. The problem though is I'm not gonna have any green access ne next turn to get the Swordmaster. That's, ah, that sucks. Okay, what have we got here in the Imperium row? 
Opulence, Sardaukar Legion. Uh, well, I'm still going to do it. And um, I'm going to throw in two troops here. Kind of hoping to get second place. All right, Beast going in for some troops as well. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, I got what I asked for, right? I asked for the Signet Ring and a Dune the Desert Planet, and I got, I got that. Um, but the two daggers being in here as well is definitely a bummer. So next turn, um, I'm going to be looking to play the Diplomacy and the Seek Allies, I guess. Everybody's in on this. Well, at least I have those two daggers to back me up. So hopefully they'll at least be uh, be doing something for me. And I'm only going to have one persuasion to spend. Um, the nice thing about this play, though, is it will allow me to have the most Solari at the end of this round. So that's going to get me an extra troop for next round. Am I going to want this? I don't think so. I don't think so. It can be nice, obviously, if you do have, um, you know, a bunch of Bene Gesserit cards. It can be a nice way to get an extra little influence here and there. But to pick it up without even knowing if I'm going to get more, that's just a no thank you. You know, compare that to like Dr. Yue, where it's also a one cost, takes you to a city, but it draws you a card when you play it. Um, yeah, that's going to be a no. So next turn, I could try to do something crazy like, um, well, you know what? It depends. If I end up getting, if I end up getting, let's say, second place and I get the two spice, that would open open up a potential move where I could like um, go to selective breeding and draw two cards and maybe I get a green access card and then get the Swordmaster. So, <laughs> really, second is what I want here. Oh no, are we bugged?
Okay. It's weird that I'm seeing the timer on the beast when it's not the beast's turn. Hopefully that fixes itself. Okay, let's see if the Baron goes for the Master Stroke right off the top here. All right. Well, looks like second place is going to be but a dream here for me, unfortunately. Um, I could potentially tie for a second, but then we both just get, you know, third. Uh, nope. <laughs> All right, that's sad. Two daggers on there. Okay. Are we all tying for second? We'll see what Helena reveals. Two swords. All right. So the beast and I get absolutely nothing for our two troops. That is hard. Unless the beast wants to play an entry card, I guess. These two are looking like they're going to tie for first, so they actually are both going to get the second place prize. Nope, the Baron has a sword. Oof. That's painful. <sighs> okay, so... If Arakeen is available, I could try going to Arakeen with my reconnaissance. And I have a three out of five chance of drawing a green access if I do that. Um, I'll probably give it a shot. If I have the chance to do it, I'll probably give it a shot because... You know, if I can get the Swordmaster right now, it would be really nice. Well, that's unfortunately no longer a possibility for me. I could try Carthag and see if I get an entry card that lets me draw a card. Um, it's starting to get a little crazy at that point um, versus just using my... Seek allies in diplomacy. But it's honestly not the worst idea. It also would let me get into this conflict, which wouldn't be the worst either. Um, uh, wealth is gone. Hmm. This hurts.
I'm gonna do it. Okay. Do I want to go all in for this? What is it, control of Imperial Basin? You know what? I will. Um, having control of this would be pretty nice early on to get some extra spice rolling in. So I'm going to go for it. Also, the point obviously would not go amiss. And if I end up with second, which hopefully is the worst case scenario here, um, then two water would be all right as well. And the thing is, because I wasn't able to get my Swordmaster, I am sitting on this eight Solari again. Um, so no, I'm not going to have the most. Okay, <laughs> that was kind of my backup logic. I was like, well, I'm going to get a free troop from the Solari, but I'm not. Okay. Um, the good news is next turn, like next round, I will have the opportunity to get my Swordmaster before the Beast does. Uh, assuming I draw... The right card, obviously. Oh, wow. Okay. Early revealing to grab the opulence, I guess. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh, there's a power play now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to seek allies. And where do I want to seek them? Another intrigue card. Or do I get myself a fold space? I'm going to get the fold space. Partly because I have this guild authorization. So it's going to, you know, for example, that could open up this smuggler's thopter for me. Um, and also, <laughs> come on. <laughs> okay. I mean, I want the power play probably primarily, but it's probably going to be gone. Okay, so I can get the power play. I mean, it's either the power play or the Sardaukar Legion, which is also pretty interesting here. But... Um It's pretty interesting because that can be used a few times at this point. The power play is like probably one of the best cards in the whole game. But You know, something else, another reason to potentially take the Legion is it is another green access, and I absolutely need to draw green access next round. Um, so, you know, I was really considering it. I was really considering it. All right, I did take control of Imperial Basin. Okay, I got the dagger. Thank God.
So that's pretty nice because I'm guessing someone's gonna wanna go there this round and that'll just give me a free little spicy spice. As for what I wanna do with my round here, obviously step one is to get the Swordmaster because if I don't do it immediately, um, I might not get the chance. Oh man, <laughs> that opulence is pretty good. Um, where is the power play going now? I can send it to Freeman and just unlock Siege Tabber immediately. That might not be a bad play. Um, I can get myself an Intrigue card, jump ahead on the Bene Gesserit track. I can't do this, unfortunately, because I kind of would like to get ahead here. Um, wealth, I would have loved to have done Wealth because I, I need Solari to get my High Council seat. Um, I think it's probably going to end up being still suits if it's still available. Big hayliner here. Wow. Okay. Well, um, Helena, I think was the one that picked up the, um, the spice thopter whatever it's called, I think it was her. So wanting to get to two on there does make sense. Um, and at this point, you might as well do the Hayliner, I suppose. Get a bunch of troops, get the water. Yeah. And then get a bunch of Solari out of it. Makes sense. Okay, so that leaves me the possibility of getting involved in this conflict. Having that water means that, you know, Siege Tabor is a possibility, Carthag is a possibility. I don't have a Mentat, okay. Um, yeah. I have no shot at taking first here. Maybe I can tie for second at best. Uh Probably, though, third is, you know, realistically all I can do. But two Solari for a troop is something I would do right now. So the idea is just, do I want the extra water right now? Or do I want uh, the extra entry card? Okay. I guess the goal by doing that is to try to maintain the top Solari total. Water or intrigue, water or intrigue.
Intrigue. Okay. Throw in one. And uh, let's see if DW Moon wants to go to a combat space or not. Regardless, I'll be getting at least two Solari, almost certainly just two Solari. And that's okay. Aga Basin. I'm guessing a couple of troops are going in here. Just one. Okay. All right. With four... Firm grip... Is Firm Grip worth taking for me, or should I just take something like Other Memory? I'm going to take it. I don't know that it's very likely that I'm going to end up with the Emperor's Alliance. I don't think so. But it is a way for me to get some influence. I've got a bunch of potential uh, influence going on here. Both my Intrigue cards, um, Firm Grip. When I go to the High Council seat, I'll get one. All right, Siege of Arakeen. Bunch of spice sitting here. That's four spice for me. Uh, so I'll probably take that if I get the opportunity to do so. No troops to my name is a little bit sad. It's too spicy. It's too spicy not to do it. So I did it. Um, the hesitation there is because I really want to get secure contract high council seat this turn. And I might not get the opportunity. Um, I suppose I suppose another option rather than secure contract is I could go back to sell Melange. Which might... It might be better in the sense that I'm going to want some Solari beyond just the High Council seat, right? I want to be able to pay for the firm grip. 
Now, a lot of the time the firm grip is gonna end up paying for itself by going to wealth, but sometimes, sometimes not. Okay, the high council seat has been taken anyway, so that's not an option for me. Secure contract is gone. Um, the other reason is, you know, Solari can be good for this rally troops. I may want to do that at some point. I'm sitting on zero here. So I think it is actually going to be sell Melange. And the question is just how much do I want to sell? If I go to 10, I'll have five left over. I think this is what I want to do. Or I go here. I spend four to get five. A couple troops and an intrigue. You know, let's do it this way. I hardly ever go to conspire. But I'm going to do it. It's, uh, I've said this before, but I think it's probably my least visited space on the board because it just, it does a lot of things, but it, it's like, usually if I want Solari, then, you know, this gets me a lot more Solari. Um, if I want troops, there's, you know, this gets me more troops. If I want an entry card, there's easier ways to do it without spending four spice, but I decided to give it a shot this time, and maybe now is not the time to be experimental, but it gets me the Solari I need for the High Council seat and at least one use of Firm Grip. Um, it gets me troops, which is like part of the reason I would, you know, would want more Solari is to spend it here to get troops. So it kind of does that at the same time. Um, but the other thing is it gets me one point with the Emperor, which otherwise I would not get. And that could end up being pretty important. And I do have that firm grip in my deck, which maybe I maybe I will end up with that alliance somehow. What do I want to do here? Do I want to get in on this conflict? If I do, I would have to go to Haga Basin with a dune. Waste, not waste, but kind of waste the diplomacy. Going in here would be getting more Solari, which is not a huge priority for me right now. So I don't think I want to do it. I mean, getting two more spice would not be bad, though. I'm low on spice. You know, I want to be building up for round seven. I have a couple rounds to do it, though. Um, so I think I'm going to let this conflict go. Do I want to try for the try to fight for this alliance or this one? I could go to secrets and then just burn this. I'm going to fight for this one. Um, I also, Spice is a big priority for me because of this card as well. Um, but what I'm kind of hoping is that I can 
grab this one for three next round. Although, I mean, this is all going to get reshuffled, so maybe. Um, there could have been some logic to getting another water from Still Sooth so that I'm opening up this for myself next round. So many things to consider. There are demands on my spice, that's for sure. I only have, the only card that can take me to Hayliner right now is Diplomacy, so that puts a bit of, makes me want to pick up this space travel, but I can't do it. Can't do it this round. Um, the good news is sitting on nine Solari should give me an extra troop. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't twist myself around just to get involved in this conflict. Um, whoa, big nine, and he doesn't have the Solari to trigger it, but that's a spice must flow. I have to think about where I'm gonna to want to put my influence, right? Because when I get my high council seat, I can go up one. And so am I gonna, oh boy. Am I gonna to wanna to go up with the emperor and try to get that alliance uh, as soon as I can? Or am I gonna to wanna to go up with the guild and try to get past there? I don't know. We're gonna to have to see what happens. Ambush. What are they fighting over? Arakane. Okay. Big pile up here. I don't have the water for it. Oh. I could pick up four spice with my signet ring right now. But there's a lot of things I want to do. Maybe I should do this firm grip while I can. Yeah, I mean, I really want to get this spice, but I mean, I've got some pretty interesting moves I can do here because when I pick up this high council seat, I could take this influence and then immediately trade in my entry card and take the alliance. Um, or I can just immediately get this alliance. But I 
yeah, I think I, I just needed to make sure that I could do that. I mean, I, eh, yeah, I want to get that influence. Theoretically, I could have used the firm grip to go to high council seat and, and still kind of done it that way, but it, it takes me far away here. Okay, so that's no longer an option, unfortunately, but that was the risk. I could go to still suits and open this up for myself, but probably that won't be around. I could go to Hayliner and then just bang, bang two alliances, <laughs> bang, bang them. Uh, fold space, I mean, not Hayliner. Yeah, I think I like that. Is anyone else going to steal the High Council seat on me? No. Okay, so... It's going to be High Council seat with the Signet Ring. That'll get me one spice. Um, that'll let me take this alliance with this, um, connections. And then I'll trigger this. I mean, I guess I should have just done that immediately. Actually, now that I think about it, there's no point waiting on that. But other than just like the, <laughs> the shock and awe of going bang, bang, two alliances in one turn, I guess. But, um... Realistically, I should have just done it. Also, I kind of like getting a fold space into my deck right now because like I said, the only access I have at the moment is a diplomacy. So, how am I gonna get, how am I gonna get to six spice by round seven. It's going to be pretty hard to do here. It's going to be pretty hard to do. I'll have two. I need to get four next round somehow. If I don't get the high council seat, like if I if I go here, that's that'll give me three spice. One, two, three. And then putting a troop in would get me another one. No, I can't I can't do that because this alliance needs to be gotten right now, and I want to get this high council seat as well. So this has to happen. And let's just do this right now. Hayliner. All right. <clears throat> 
how am I going to get my spice? Well, I have one Dune the Desert Planet, which I may draw. I'm very likely to draw next round. Which um, I'm going to be the last player to go. So maybe I get a chance to throw it here next round for three spice. Which gets me to five, and then I just one short. Unfortunately, this seven Solari is not enough to get me a bonus troop. DW Moon sitting on eight. Although, he might use that right now for the Swordmaster. If he does, then the Baron and I will be tied with seven. In terms of the Imperium row here, what am I looking at? Uh, five to spend. I guess it would probably be a Bene Gesserit sister and an Arrakis liaison. I think that's right. Uh, or the voice instead of the liaison. Yeah. All right. There's a smuggler's thopter. It's a good card for me, but uh, showed up at the wrong time. So. I don't mind. I mean, the voice is pretty good. It's a two persuasion card that only costs two. Takes you to takes you to Arrakis, right? You can go to a city or to a desert. And being able to essentially reserve the space you want for your next agent can be pretty huge sometimes. Like, for example, let's say I go into round seven with only five spice. So I need to use around to get spice well normally that would like leave hayliner open for somebody else to take but if i use the voice to get spice because it's a desert access space and then reserve the hayliner then you know it's a pretty nice setup um the voice also can stop helena right helena normally isn't She's not blocked by enemy agents on uh, green or blue spaces, but the voice does block her. This is a massive load here. <laughs> Both of these two have the opportunity. Okay, he did get the Swordmaster, so that means the Baron and I will be getting an extra troop, which is pretty nice. I don't have a great round coming up here. I have to believe that this is going to be snagged by Helena next round. Sitting on three water, it's going to be sitting on six spice. I would really like that. You know, there was that turn uh, a couple of rounds ago where I was deciding, do I want the extra water from Siege Tabor or do I want the Intrigue card from Carthag? Oh man, that's another nice card for me, but another big demand on my spice. And, uh, you know, the intrigue card I ended up getting was this Sleeper Must Awaken, which could be crucial. But that extra water would be pretty nice as well. Now that said, who knows, if I had taken that extra water would this still be here or would Helena have taken it already? Who knows? Cloak and dagger. 
Is there a way for me to get a Spice Must Flow this turn? I don't really see it. I mean, I could do it if I just go, you know, Hall of Oratory and then Early Reveal. But that's not what I want to do. I want to get... I want to get Spice. How do I get it? Here... Mentat. Interesting. Does that mean she doesn't have a desert access card or does it mean she doesn't need to do it yet because no one else has two water? Because if I can somehow get away with doing Siege Tabber and then get this, that would be amazing for me, but... It seems like a stretch. It seems like a stretch. Probably, I don't know. Maybe I should try it though. The risk is that I end up with neither of these. Master Stroke. Okay, where is it? Wait. Okay, that's a bug. That should be saying scheme. That's why I keep getting messed up. I'm like, oh, he's triggering his Master Stroke. Um, but that should have triggered his Master Stroke, right? I'm confused. <sighs> I'm going to try this and maybe just a one. I think one. Maybe it should have been two because I could theoretically still throw in more if I end up going to one of these desert spaces. And, you know, winning this actually would be good, but it doesn't seem terribly likely given <laughs> what these Harkonnens are up to. So I feel like the one is a better idea. Just throw in one and hopefully get third place either for a spice or an intrigue. Okay, yeah. That's kind of what I figured was going to happen there. But it's okay. The, the extra water, I'm confident, will come in handy at some point or another. You know, either allowing me to pick up, um, you know, some more spice when I need it, even if it's not six spice, but even if it's three or four. All right, well, my one troop is going to be, uh, he's going to die alone. Yeah, okay, taking that away from me.
Hopefully I can still at least get this. And then maybe it's a rally troops. Although, if I don't rally troops, I get a troop for free. Just for having the most Solari. I don't know. I would really like to get that spice. I think it might be worth throwing in two troops here to try to get the one spice because I'm sitting on five. I want to be sitting on six. I'm going to try it. Helena has none in the garrison, so... I'm hoping she can't do much about it. She could potentially hit up Hardy Warriors, I guess. I have the one dagger to back me up. It's, uh... She's hitting up Hayliner right now. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should have seen that coming. Uh... Well... Maybe I should have seen that coming, but I don't know. I don't know if I should have. Is she going to try to go for this? Because she did pick... She is trying to get this, right? So she wants that alliance. Okay, well, that's sad. I did really want that one spice, which is certainly not happening now. My... I mean, if I was insane, I could send Arrakis liaison to research station and throw in two more. Uh, but that seems really crazy. That seems really crazy to me. That's a lot of resources in order to just try to get a spice. So let's not do it. Let's, okay, let's do rally troops because that's going to get me some troops and I'm still going to have the most Solari by the looks of things. So I'll still get an extra one. Huh. I guess I'm going to want that if I can get it. Um, all right. Well, the interesting thing is next round, no one is going to have enough spice to immediately hit up Hayliner. So that's good news for me in the sense that no one can beat me to it. But I still have to spend a turn getting Spice before I can go there myself, assuming I draw one of the cards I need to get there. Which, you know, there are only two in my deck. And I already, I'm already i going to be drawing four cards out of 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's a 2 in 13. It's like a 1 in... S uh, one in 6 chance per card of drawing it. 
four chances at it. Something like that. <laughs> Calculating, uh, what is it, permutations? 13 choose two. What are the odds? Or something. I don't know. Anyways, um, well, it's reveal. I think it's Peter DeVries here. The Freeman camp is also not a crazy thing to pick up, but I've got too many demands on my spice as it is. Uh, so I think it will just be Peter. Oh, that power play. Now buying the Peter does reduce my chances of drawing my Hayliner access. So it's a risk. It's a risk, but I feel like it's a risk worth taking because that also might be a spice must flow. The three persuasion there. All right, so Helena gets an influence and I'm guessing she's gonna take this one, although she needs some points here. Yeah, she wants to steal that alliance from me. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. That puts pressure on me. Wait a minute, and she has... How did she get that spice? Oh, no. So she can Hayliner and take the alliance immediately here. How did she get all of that spice? What happened? Oh, I don't get access anyway. Okay, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. She got two out of the reveal. She got two. Haga Basin. Oh, that's... That hurts me. That hurts me a lot. Um, okay, well, that's how it is. What can I do? I mean, I'm not... Can I still win this? I've got a bunch of troops in the garrison. If I just hit up... If I just hit up the cities here... Can I overpower her still? She has enough for a rally troops. So... In terms of how many troops she could add, let's say she goes to rally troops and then a city. She could throw in three more troops. So she could have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She'd have a total of 10. If I visit cities three times, I can throw in nine. It's not great. What else can I do? Do I want Mentat? I think I want to try to get closer on this point. More <laughs> spice demands.
All right, so I think I have to look towards next turn Hayliner, which, you know, I've got a great chance of getting access to it next turn. Well, great, I guess good. Um, it would, second place would be pretty good here. I wonder if I should try to research station and maybe try to pick up a spice must flow this turn. Let's say I recon, I draw three. That's I go down to five from playing the recon. I need to get four in three cards. There's a pretty good chance I could do it. And if I don't quite make it, I could then maybe dagger to Hall of Oratory. That might be that might be worth a shot. The only danger with that. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Um, the danger with that would be like I'd end up drawing all of my <laughs> Hayliner access this turn. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, so what do I want to do instead? Arakeen? Mentat? Who owns this right now? Yellow? One Solari? No big deal. Do I care? Beast is probably throwing in a bunch here. Um, and I have no way to get in anymore because all of the cities are now blocked and I don't have desert access this turn. Okay, Mentad is now out as an option. So I don't have a, I don't really have a play. All I can do is go to Hall of Oratory Uh, you know, yeah, which gets me to eight, not nine. Uh-huh. Okay, what's she going to do there? She can lock that alliance up right now if she wants to.
Yeah. All right. So that is that is not an option for me anymore. That is gone. Which is uh, it's sad, but that's how it is. Hall of Oratory is not an option anymore. What in the world can I even do? I can draw a card. That's the only space I can go to is freaking Mentat. Oh my God. Well, there's no point doing it. So we'll just reveal and get a power play, I guess. Uh, yeah. Okay, now the question is, all right, at the moment I'm in, I'm in position for second place. If for some reason I get surpassed there, is it worth burning the private army? Five, well, you know what, actually, that would tie me for first. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, okay. Is it still worth it, though, for me to do this? I will get the spice back. I'll get an intrigue card back. It's basically just stealing it from him. At the moment, I'm sitting in place for second, where I'm going to get an intrigue and two Solari. The thing is, if I just get an intrigue card... I'm going to be sitting on four, and I'll be vulnerable to a secrets play. So it might... It might be worth essentially just trading in the private army. Trade it in for a different entry card that hopefully doesn't cost spice. Get my spice back. Here comes the Baron. Spice must flow. No Solari to activate the opulence. Mm. I'm really considering it because I think this private army might be, it might be a dead card for me. Because I, I don't think I'm gonna have the spice really to afford to use it. So I might as well just kind of trade it in and, uh, and do it that way, I think. That's really annoying, though. I could have tied for first. Prevented Helena from getting the two points. I mean, assuming... Yeah, because she has no swords. She might have an intrigue card, though. But, uh... Oh, this, this game is getting tight. This game is getting really tight. It was looking nice for a while. It still might work out, but... It's a little sketch. Yeah, I'm going to do this. This is not pass. I am not passing. I have played an entry card. I have not passed. I hate this. Man, it'd be so nice if I had another one. Another combat one to play here. Or if I hadn't lost that troop. That troop, the beast. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm taking the spice and the intrigue. Reinforcements. Okay, that's a better card for me to have than the uh, than the one I just used. So I'm glad I made that trade. Battle for Imperial Basin. Helena. Oh no, that's me. I get a bonus troop. Oh, that's very nice. Nobody has enough spice. Okay. Ah, I didn't get the access. Uh. So what that means is I need to use Signet Ring to research station. That's what I have to do. Because that's going to get me the spice I need and it's going to draw me the card I need. That's what I have to do. If I can somehow get four more spice to trigger the Sleeper Must Awaken, that would be amazing. I don't see how I can do that uh, because I can't go to these. I can go to one of these, uh, but I'm going to be one spice short. Well, Hayliner will give me water but it's just not enough, it's just not enough agents. It's looking good for a spice must flow this turn as well. Because that's because of this firm grip. It's currently worth four. Um, but I may end up wanting to use it in order to get that point. How many troops do I have in the garrison? Five. So Hayliner brings out everybody. Do I even need to Hayliner? That's a question I could ask. I guess I do because theoretically, if I don't, Helena might. And I can't afford that. So I think I do have to just do it. What's the last card here that I could draw a dune? Okay. The thing is, if I don't go to Hayliner, then I do have the points for this. It's kind of interesting. I'm just going to do it.
That can potentially get me that point. So I don't need to use the firm grip there. Okay, so two points there. One point there brings me to nine. Spice must flow brings me to 10. If I could somehow get that, You know how I could do it? <laughs> I could do it if somebody goes here. Because if somebody goes here, I get one spice. Then I could go here and get three. That would be my... My path. Looks like no one's biting on that one. Baron. E. Okay. Well, I think I think I want to get this just for tiebreaker purposes anyway. I don't know what anyone else's plan is, but I might as well try to mess it up with the voice, I guess. And uh, whatever, we'll throw it in. Maybe that was a mistake to go here. Maybe I should have actually gone here to leave this as an option for people. I think I should have. That was a mistake because this water isn't doing anything for me. Um, so going here would have been better. Try to force somebody into going there to give me the extra spice. Yeah, because Helena probably would have done it. Okay, that was a misplay. That was a misplay. Hopefully it doesn't cost me. Hopefully it doesn't cost me. Oh, that's a point. I mean, that point might end up mattering here. Who knows what the Baron is up to? The Baron could have the intrigue card, the end game card that gives you points for Spice Must Flow. Uh, and that would bring him to 11. So I may have just kind of blown it there. Now, I don't know if somebody would have gone there, but I think there's a pretty good chance. Mm. It hurts.
It also, like I said, it may have been a mistake to go to the Hayliner, but I think, I don't know. It was, a, it was an interesting decision to make anyway. All right, there's two points. I want to use my demand respect now. Uh, we're just going to do one because two doesn't, two doesn't matter. There's 10. End game, just that. Okay, please don't have the other one. Whoo! <laughs> All right, we did it. Memnon came through again. Uh, it was also this shirt, I guess. This shirt has a 100% win rate in this event. Um, man, oh man. That was a very close game. Um, I had a, a misplay at the end that could have cost me. Potentially, I could have ended on 11 points. Um, but it worked out. My boy Memnon, uh, he did very, very well for me. Now, to be fair, Ilbon also had a 100% win rate for me in this event, one for one, uh, but Memnon is four for four. The Beast, zero for one. So that is the game. That is the event. Let's take a look at the scoreboard now. Fifty-three points, currently sitting in number one. Uh, you know, we'll see if anybody can catch me here. So I passed Jaihu on six games, Navian on six games. Rambam, even if he gets first place, won't be able to do it. Sir Anteater or Senior Anteater, don't know. Uh, who has a chance to catch me here still? No, no, no. Okay, if Vestasius wins the next two, then that would be 53 points, so that could potentially tie me up. Uh, Marvin's quest here still has a chance at a perfect score. Anyway, so it's quite possible that, you know, someone passes me, but I'm pretty happy to be sitting in first place at this time. And no one did manage to pass me, but one person did manage to catch me. So Festatius managed to tie me for first place, the two of us ending on 53 points. Fidekin Death Commando came in third place and tying for fourth was Dravopolum, The One True Form, Marvin's Quest, Doc for Geo, Ulkesh, Magellan, and Jai Hu. Congratulations to the top 10. Um, pretty proud of the event. It was uh, well played by everybody. Um, yeah, I learned some things about Memnon and you know, some things worked in my favor, some things worked out of my favor. The thing with luck in games is it's often easy to focus on when you have bad luck and get frustrated, right? And you think, ah, if I only didn't have bad luck, I would have won that game. Um, but then you kind of don't necessarily give the credit to luck always when you when it works in your favor, right? It's just sort of taken for granted. Um, but luck definitely worked in my favor a few times in this event. There were a couple of times where a nice card popped up at just the right time for me. I was able to pick up a couple of, uh, you know, Chome directorships. Um, there were times, and the other thing is you don't see the other player's luck, right? Other players also run into bad luck. They don't draw the cards they want at the right time. Um, you know, a card pops up in the Imperium row at the wrong time for them and so on. So at any rate, the nice thing about playing six games is the luck to some degree kind of averages out and it should, you know, you should still find people who play well 
towards the top of the standings. It's not guaranteed. You need a much larger sample size uh, to say anything certain. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this series. I had a lot of fun with it. And uh, as always, thanks very much for watching, for commenting. I always appreciate uh, the discussions in the comments. If you want to, you can subscribe here if you haven't already. And uh, you can follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash bludgeon. And I will see you all next time. Thanks very much, everybody. Goodbye.